Okay, uh, we're back, and I'm just gonna cram food in my face. There's some of these, like, regen 2. That's only for, like, three minutes. I'm just gonna start clearing out some of the, um... What was that? I think one of my crops just got, uh, spit out, spit out of the walls. Okay. I was really hoping there would be a music box that I could make, but I don't... I don't see a music box. Yeah, there's there's nothing there's no music on this on the ship and it bothers me. So I could actually I might as well make as many copper oh geez. I did not realize I was this loaded for resources, but I guess prior to this we were going on a we were going on a rampage, so I guess it wouldn't surprise me too much. Which glass can I make four? I gotta fix that. Currently we're uh music boxes found in human camps. Okay. That's good to know. So let's uh let's go see if I can find some sand at an ocean world over here. Okay, jukeboxes in human settlements and music boxes in Hylotl mansions. Well, I guess let's go see if I can find a Hylotl mansion. I don't have a submarine, which is kind of I was hoping I I could get one. But chances are uh, I can go find a Hylotl place anyway. Ooh, you know what? Could also use an instrument while walking around. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Okay, let's uh, let's actually go back to the Ark for a second. I should have enough... I should see if I can make that teddy bear, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. So yeah, I've got... I believe I've got some upgrades that I can... I can get going. Like the, uh, the movement... movement tech? And I should probably focus on that for a second. So we can't do any of those. None of this matters, and I'm also poor. And this guy is meaningless now. So yeah, let's... Who's this guy? Okay. Input, output, place... Okay, so I guess I can enhance containers fully, or something. I'll have to figure out how that exactly works. Well. Got a bunch of boiled rice, yeah. So this guy is giving me the distortion distortion sphere, which is what we wanted. So let's give it a go. Because, ah, uh, there's the aqua sphere. Which, uh, which would let me go around the Hylodl, the ocean area, freely. Press F to use the dis distortion sphere. Okay. Well... I might as well make the most of my distortion sphere. Right, there we go. I kind of remember how to do this. So you can use the enhancement of containers to make all containers have 300 spaces. Woof. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to kind of... Oh. I'm trying to kind of deal with some of my inventory problems because we're starting to run out of space, especially if I'm going to be using and abusing the, um, especially if I'm going to be using and abusing my, my bulldozer constantly. I kind of want to be able to, uh, I kind of want to be able to, like, deal with all the, the crap I'm picking up and, like, put it places. I still want, I want to see if there's, like, a, an inventory extender because... It feels a little small, but I have no idea if I, if a mod exists. I spent like half an hour looking at mods earlier and couldn't find any. All right, so movement tech. It's this, this? No, tech console. Oh, it's kind of useful. That's not what I'm looking for. We want to do, is it the configurator? No, character status, matter manipulator. How do we actually use my tech cards? Because I got 13 of them. Uh, is, is it this? Ah, it is. Okay. So we have spin dash. I want the aquasphere one, probably. Spike, spike sphere would be nice. We've got sprint, air blink, 
Yeah, let, let's get Aquasphere. It's probably the most immediately useful thing. Okay, so this guy also sells... Huh. I will have to take a look at uh, what that exactly does. Okay, well, we've got Aquasphere, so let's go back and go back down. Spike Sphere is the only good sphere. Aquasphere is useful if I'm doing, um, if I'm going to a high lotal world. Because currently I don't have, um, I don't even have an EPP. So, my, like, ability to breathe under underwater is, uh, well, non-existent. Anyway, I need glass, which means I need sand. Which means this island is getting leveled. This is quite the island, too. I was actually expecting something a little bit smaller, but, well, here we are. I kind of love the, uh, bulldozer. Like, I, th I think the bulldozer is actually my, uh... I think the bulldozer is actually one of my favorite mods in this entire game. <laughs> For starters, because of my ridiculous horse head. I don't know, there's just something magic about driving around with, like, a... Uh, a horse head just destroying whole huge sections of land. Can I? Oh, I can get it to destroy the background too. Wow. That's kind of nuts. What about the large bulldozer? I am poor. However, I would like to get it. I do have a helmet that lets me breathe, but it, uh, it does not illuminate the area. Which is, a uh, an issue. Because I wanted to, I want to be able to see at the, at the bottom of the ocean, and currently I cannot. And it's aquasphere, because I believe you can get your air back when you go into aquasphere. And yeah, there's also lantern on the stick. You're right. Oh, we got Neptunium, whatever that does. No, there. I, I'm being mildly obstinate here. I know there are things that I can do. But, I can also just use the Aqua Ball, at least for now. <laughs> uh, is this the water level right here? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we probably don't want to go beyond that. Now, is my block inventory full? No. My part inventory is full. Well, do we have any parts in here that are, are useless? We got a bunch of weird parts. I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, let's get rid of the cotton. I can live without that. Is this not a part? I have no idea what this stuff is. Weird. Okay, well let's uh, beam back up. Should have gotten the Triton subcontroller. It's very expensive. It's like 25,000. I am not... Uh, I am not that wealthy yet. I... Making money in Starbound is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, once I build a bigger farm, it won't be so bad, but like right now, it's uh, not so easy. So I can make a thousand glass. I see nothing wrong with making a thousand glass. Alright, let's start upgrading our, our various stations. I can upgrade that? Really? String titanium bars. Oh, let's see. I assume... No, I can make titanium bars. I can make one. Well, butts. I was kind of hoping I could make more than that. I guess we'll have to find out where to get more of that. Yeah, titanium bars. Durasteel. Okay. Well, at the very least, I've upgraded my anvil. And my engineer's table. So, does that let me make anything new? There's the kitchen counter. There's the seed maker. <laughs> I apparently can make the Emerald Herald. I got some more mods. A router. Okay, that's... There's a bunch of new mods that I've picked up that are all... Oh. Leaf bundle. Fine wall light. I will use whatever. Uh, let's see. 
I really should probably sell some of this stuff. Let's get rid of the large medieval door. Now, if I remember right, I still had a... Yeah, I still have a whole bunch of these blocks. So I'm just going to fill in the wall so I can put more, more lights up. Because it is, it is dark on my spaceship, and I don't mind it so much, but I'd also like to have a much brighter ship. Let's see, do I have the copper ingots mod? Changes cost of smelting from... Huh. N I don't actually know if I have uh, an ingots mod. Not that I really need it. Like, with the bulldozer and everything else... Resource scarcity is kind of not a big deal. Oh, it was an ex it was an exp orb that disappeared. No, are these rotting in here? N no, it doesn't look like anything. Eh, no stuff. Stuff might actually rot on my ship. I don't think anything in my inventory rots, which was kind of appreciated. But looks like the other stuff might. And I'm finally out of those blocks. Do I have any more? Yes, I always do. That's good. Let's see. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to slowly work on my, my ship here. But that, that's a little bit better. Now, I do have I do have these lights. I should probably put them back to, to where, th where they belong, though. Let's see, right smack dab in the middle. Can't put it there, though. Just gonna... Really? It's probably because, yeah, there's there's no background here. That's why... That's why I couldn't connect. And there we go. Okay, so I still have a whole lot of parts to put in there, but until we get more tungsten, I'm locked off on that. Uh, let's see. So I believe I have these things. Oh, that was my forager's table. I actually needed that for things. Actually, did I? At this point, it might be better if I get the... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. We want the forger's table, we don't want the uh, campfire anymore. Alright, so kitchen counter goes there, and please, forger? Nope, doesn't work. Okay, forage, bench next. Machining table is a must. Needs more space than I thought it would. Let's see, we don't really need the refinery. Now that I'm thinking about it. Tiny wall switch. I don't even know what that's used for. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the bed rolls. Primitive stove. Don't need. Glowing orb. Is a chest. Volcanic geyser? Huh. Yeah, let's get rid of that. A lot of treasure filled crates. I should probably go sell some of this stuff now that I'm looking at it. We don't need any more hand mills. I've got honestly too many. Uh, let's, let's make the seed maker. I almost could, like, cram the seed maker in there, but I don't think it's going to work. And yeah, we don't we don't need the refinery. I'll be making money a different way. Oh, that's the hand mill. Okay, so the high-tech chest is not as big, but I should probably just let it, let it be for the time being. Okay, can I make anything interesting? I can make a spooky pie... With wheat and bone booze. I want to make a fridge. But I haven't had the... Uh, I don't have the supplies for it. But mainly I'm just trying to make as much food as possible. We've been starving. And it's annoying. Ooh, hi. So some of this stuff... If I remember right, pineapple juice is pretty good at making money. Eventually, I'd actually like to... I don't think I can set it up uh, so I can automatically make cash from this stuff. 
but that's okay. All right, uh, let's take a look at food. Do I have any new seeds? I had coconuts, but coconuts might have actually been the seed. Now that I now that I think about that. Okay, the second window from the ladder column isn't glassed over. I'm aware. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the wall panels for it. Let's see, so we have cotton seeds, death blossoms, mushrooms. I have a whole bunch of mushroom seeds, but I'm not really sure if I care about those. No, I should probably plant them. Let's see. I might as well also go grab the, uh, whatever resources we have here. Um. Oh, boy. Let's get rid of the flower seeds. I can't imagine flower seeds are particularly useful. Also, all of the rotten garbage. Take all. That's still not everything. And fortunately, a lot of my uh, a lot of my crops are at different levels of decay, which makes this a bit harder. You know what? Maybe I should actually. I'm gonna dig dig the kitchen counter up. We're gonna we're gonna move it up here. No sense in uh no sense in having it down low, when I'm gonna be cooking here constantly. Is that not enough space? Okay, there we go. So what can I make? More wattage pottage. I can only make a little bit though. Lucky dip. Tomato juice. Anything else? No, not really. And fortunately my available in ingredients is limited. And we're starving. Well, more lucky dip, which actually sells for a fair bit. Okay, so what do I have that's, like, rather easy to eat? I I guess I could just eat my, like, spare automatoes. They are not worth much. Well, they're not helping me anyway. Uh, if I remember right, bread is worth, like, nothing. And take all, cook some more. We have nothing but coconut rice. And now we're completely out of inventory space. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's go to the outpost. Let's go sell some things. Eventually, I think I can get a shop on my ship. In fact, I don't think it would even take that long. I'm talking to the one unfinished section. Between the section and the chair. Oh, maybe? I don't know. Part of it is it's so unfinished, it's kind of hard to really care if I've got the windows in properly. But yeah, let's let's go offload. Like we have a whole bunch of furniture saplings. I think I'd care more about saplings if I was going to be on a planet permanently. But as as of yet, I've I haven't found a, a place that I care to stay at for any length of time. So let's let's sell the refinery, the arrow etched rocks, the penguin something or other. We don't need the treasure chest, the things of treasure, the spare hand mills, glowing vine wall light. Nah. Doesn't really match my ship anyway. We want to keep the engineer's table. But yeah, I picked up a bunch of this stuff uh, because it looked valuable. Let's see, hidden brick trapdoor? Yeah, I don't care about that. And I might just chuck the saplings in a chest. Now that I'm thinking about it. This I'm probably just going to leave be. And food-wise, we're just going to sell everything. I'm not entirely sure if uh, some of the stuff is good or not. Uh, but it's clogging my inventory. Actually, let's not sell the canned food. Canned food lasts for a while. Let's see, and the rest are seeds. If can't seeds, cocoa seeds, death blossoms... Not really sure about the death blossoms or the mushroom. Anyway, that's some money. Eventually, uh, eventually it'll be better, but for now, oh well. Uh, let's see. Blue, yellow, red flowers are for stim packs. If you ever use them, I never use them. Oh yeah, this part is missing a window. You're correct. Well, can I just? No, that's. This is glass, but it's not a glass block. Okay. 
Oh, the decorative map item that I sold, win place, can be scanned for a quest. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. I... Oh, this is my machining table. Let's grab my uh, foraging table. I don't think we need it here. I should probably put this down, and this is way, way too large. Okay, probably don't care too much about these things. Let's let's just go back to uh, to dumping all of our spare raw resources into these. Fun fact, I actually got a mod that lets me connect them all now. Which is really cool. Okay, so it's not perfect. Uh, I'd, I'd like to to sort them, but there's a um, there's actually a pipe system, uh, kind of s space engineer style, where you can actually connect all of your uh, your chests and your benches together. And so eventually, I'm going to want to get to work on that as like a, a means of connecting all of my bits bits together and actually using them for things. So we should probably grab my like iron. I don't know about lead. I don't really know if I have a use for it. But all of my, like, basic ores that I'm going to be using for things. Titanium. We don't need sulfur. I don't know about silicon. A lot of this stuff is probably useless. But if I'm going to be crafting with it, I should probably have it. I'll hold on to the coal. I think that was useful. That and everything else I can come back looking for at some point. Okay, so now that we've done that, what do we do? Basic crafting. I want to get rid of this menu. Uh, we should probably actually go back down to the planet. We're oh right, right, right. I was on a I was on a mission to go find. I was on a mission to go find me. A uh, a jukebox, if I can find one. We should be okay. Ow. I was not under the impression that all of these things were vi violent. Apparently, I was very much incorrect. Everything here wants to kill me. And it's such a dense group of critters, too. Okay, well, I it's, it's violence time, I guess. Hey, I level up. Which might actually mean I get the uh, float perk. Oh, holy crap. Ah! Ah! I just got, like, chicken blasted. These fires last for a while. If I can get fire immunity, that would be, like, the best. Honestly, though, I should probably get some new spells. Because, yeah, I am, uh, I'm a danger to myself and others, but, well, considering I don't care about others, it's mostly myself that I have worries about. There are a lot of these guys. I was, I don't remember this place being so dangerous up on the islands. Like, I really, really do not remember uh, the islands just being, like, filled with critters that wanted me dead. <sighs> but I guess they do. Okay, let's keep bumping intelligence. Oh, I had a couple of points. Let's check classes. So we have skills. Hover. Okay. Hover, I have to go to a, uh, I have to go to a tech station to actually use these. Press space while in the air to hover towards your cursor. The further your cursor, the faster you move. And it drains my energy. And the other, the other one is a gravity sphere. Which actually lets me low grav through things. Which is kind of... That's cool. Oh. This is not... That's the level up menu. Not my spell book. Or, not my spells. Fortunately, I have to more or less wait for the fire to dissipate. Was that a diamond pickaxe? It was. Huh. Okay. 
Well, this island was a lot more expansive than I was expecting. Um, can I... Hey, hey! I actually need to scan this stuff. There's just randomly a Hylodl here. Who's just kind of hanging out? I don't know. Oh. Well, that's an issue with the Aquasphere. Also, contrary to popular opinion, you don't gain oxygen while you're... Well, you're doing with that. Okay. That's interesting. So... I thought the Aquasphere would give me air. So we don't have any wands or staffs. Uh... I guess going Aquasphere is useless. Uh, I guess easy option is I should probably deal with some of the garbage in my inventory. Oh, I should probably figure out how to make an EPP now that I'm thinking about it. Breathing EPP just work. Wow, okay. Well, that's about the most convenient thing I've heard all day. Uh, it just requires oxygen. Guess how much oxygen I just farmed. All of it. So let's get the breathing EPP. There's also, like, the Repulsor Field Pack. Some of these are neat. Kind of wish I could combine them together. Some of them are kind of nuts, actually. Okay, so this is all just tungsten. Which, actually, in retrospect, cotton wool. I should probably make the soldier's equipment. Let's see. What do I need for cotton wool? Cotton fiber. How much cotton fiber do we have? One. Uh, do I have space for more copper? Uh, copper, uh, cotton? Because if... If I can cram it in anywhere, that'd be appreciated. No. I'm probably going to have to make a, a second... I'm probably going to have to make a, a second one of these somewhere. Let's keep taking the EXP. I think I have something that actually makes it so stuff doesn't rot. I can buy cotton fiber at the Infinity Mart. Okay, I'm going to go do that. I wonder you should get the Ore Plants Plus mod. You can make any... take any ore... Or block and make a global seed out of it. That's interesting. I'll buy it. Yeah, if if, uh, if somebody wants to link that in Discord, I'd gladly pick that up. It sounds like hacks, but at the same time, once I've started finding the ore, uh, the idea of just farming it freely would be kind of amusing. I, since I've already played and beat this game before, my like interest in playing it legitimately has kind of dropped. Uh, hence all the crazy mods that I've I've crammed in here just to see like what kind of stupid things I can do like by the time we hit the end game I'm probably going to be able to just uh, one shot almost everything or who knows what kind of weird things I can do because I can I got a mod that lets me combine augments weapons a lot of things, and I'm kind of looking forward to what kind of weird stuff I can do. Scanner add-on. Okay. Just buy 20. Okay, I guess I didn't need some of that. Let's put on the breathing EPP. There we go. And we can put on poison or energy. Okay, so now I have an energy booster. Now do my, ah, even my armor can, can have these in. Not entirely sure how many of these are that useful. Immunity electrified is good though. Okay, well I've got enough. So 
So let's go... Let's go make me some new armor. Because if I can do that, I can start tossing some of the augments in. I think I can remove stuff. Like, I can remove augments if I wanted to. And I probably will. Yeah, most of that's useless. So let's make the full soldier set. Oh, the helmet's kind of... The helmet is kind of pointless. I can't use it yet. Uh, let's see. Let's use this for for equipment and stuff that I want. Oh, I probably should have... I probably should have actually sold some of my equipment. Ah, uh, whatever. Diamond pickaxe. We don't really need a diamond pickaxe. Don't think we need living in fear. Let's just start getting rid of rid of some of the uh, the garbage. I don't really need the economy bike. I don't need the Arrakis eye right now. Hell, I probably don't even need the Ixidoom claw. I'll just uh, store some of the other junk. What is this? Weapon parts. Can I open it up? No. I don't even know where I got those. I don't really care about the death blossoms. And it looks like either I've gotten two more capture pods or the ones that I had broke somehow. Oh well, not the end of the world. Wait. Don't worry about ore duplication farming. You have both uncrafting table and fracking universe bees, which can produce any ore as long as you have some. What? You can have bee? What? Okay, that sounds kind of insane, but sure. All right. Now I've got the breathing EPP, and I've got my mining helmet, though you can't tell. I'd like to get a light augment on, on the thing. But, oh well. Probably going to want to just use my sword here. That's a fish that just don't care. Now here's the question. Can I? All right. I'm going to move faster underwater with a bulldozer. <laughs> oh my god. I should probably go back for some of this stuff seeing as um well it's dropping along the way. I really wish the aquasphere just let me move freely in the water. Oh well. Uh, the only problem is I have to go back for all the like dirt and mud and the the other guff. Is there a way to keep the uh get the aquasphere to to sink faster? That would be lovely. All right. Well, whatever. Anyway, so we're looking for a hylodal civilization if we can find one. Because if I can, uh, if I, if I can find a hylodal civilization down here, oh, I'm starting to, uh, starting to starve. Also, is there just straight up no music down in here? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to quick bop out, and I'm gonna go enable a mod. There's a mod that makes it so, uh, the ocean music and the desert music turn back on. And I was thinking Fracking Universe fixed this, but apparently not. Okay, so if I just save and quit, we should be right there. If not, it's not a big deal. But let's I'm gonna go turn on the uh the music restored. Now do I have them? No, that's slow hunger. That's desert music restored. That's 
Because I'm just going to have to find it again. It doesn't take that long. If I search ocean music... Well, if I just search ocean, will we get it? Islands? No. There it is. Ocean music replacer. Because, yeah, I really love the... Uh, I really love the music for this game, and it's kind of weird that, like, whole planets just don't have any. Had a mod back in the old playthrough that let you toggle mid-falling whether or not the aquasphere is shooting up or down. Yeah, I think I can still do that. I'm just not sure how it works. Not that it matters. Like, I've got a bulldozer. The bulldozer, the bulldozer moves plenty fast underwater. So, what does it matter? All right, now this should just dump me where I was standing, from what I remember. Yeah, there we are. And I'm starving. Uh, I guess I do have canned food. Probably should have actually kept some... Uh, some food or whatever. Oh well. I really am a monster. <laughs> The best part is, like, the water can't fill fast enough, so there ends up being this, like, weird air pocket as I, like, slowly just destroy everything along the way. Well, my, uh, my hand mills are gonna be busy. The worst part about all of this is I actually have to, I, this is actually slower. Uh, because I have to go back and pick everything back up, so... In the end, this is actually going to take three times as long, and I should probably just get out of the... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop using the... Okay, there we go. I'm just going to stop using the... Oh, that's how it works. Wow, Aquasphere is crazy convenient now that I'm thinking about it. All you have to do is press spacebar. So I'm actually going to switch these around a little bit. Apparently, apparently there is music. It's just quiet. If I remember right, Coral Creep is actually worth like a fair amount. Like you could make juice with it. Yeah, so all you have to do is press spacebar. That's a dolphin. All you have to do is press spacebar to reverse gravity with the aquasphere. So the aquasphere is a hell of a lot, hell of a lot better than uh, than I was taking it for right there. Well, no reason to. Uh, somebody lived here, maybe, once upon upon a time. Now nobody lives here, and I will take all of their things. Noticing my mining is particularly slow, but maybe that's just because I'm so used to, uh, I'm so used to having a, uh, I'm stuck on the, uh, I'm stuck on the, the platform. I'm so used to having a bulldozer that the idea of, of mining slowly just feels weird and inconceivable. Wow, the aquasphere is good. Yeah, spacebar to go down. Yep. Uh, all you have to do is just press spacebar and gravity flips on you. Which is kind of stupid, actually. Like, there are the, the applicable uses of that. Oh. Right, the water is still kind of, like, muffling the, uh... That's why it's really quiet. It's muffled in the ocean. But yeah, so you can you can flip your buoyancy. Which is way handy. Still looking for that Hylodal settlement. There might actually be something like underneath. Yeah, plant platinum or diamond pick is better than my manipulator. Oh no. It's just carrying an extra 
platinum pick around seems like a nuisance. There's just nothing but dolphins down here. I feel like I'm playing Abzu. That was a good game. Not quite as good as Journey, but it was very pleasant. That fish wanted to take bites. Uh, okay, this looks promising, whatever this is. I don't know. Okay. Looks empty. Well, when in doubt, bulldoze. Can I summon my bulldozer in here? No, doesn't look like I got enough space for it. Now I got enough space for it. I guess I'll just go down this direction. It looks like there's some kind of location here. But it might just be runes on the top. Right. If I hold right click, yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's anything here. If I hold right click, then we don't have to worry about uh, leaving the ocean. Or the, uh, the water instantly refills if you take out the background, which actually makes total sense. Okay, so let's pick up all these blocks. I was hoping that there would be, like, a, uh, an underground high temple or something. Yeah, when in doubt, strip mine. Oh, yeah. 